Hey everyone, Mr. Bohork is 7 here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to draw Spitfire. So get your utensils and your paper ready, and we'll start drawing Spitfire. Okay, to start off drawing Spitfire, what you want to do is get a circle down, okay? And next thing you want to do is put a dot in the middle. Next, what you want to do is put a line going across. Notice how far down I put the line from the line between the dot. Next thing you want to do is put a line in the middle from the side of the circle here in the dot. Next thing you want to do is put another line like this one but on the top same distance from here to here and here to there it's gonna help us place spitfire's eyes now let's add the eyes what you want to do is start in the middle here and go up and bring it around and it connects with the side of the circle and then put a line under under here notice the distance between how far i put this line now let's add her other eye. You start from here, pay attention to how far I start from, from this line up through here. And then you bring it up, around, and as you're coming this way, you go with the circle over here. Just like that. Next, we'll add the bottom part. Just like that. Now let's add her pupils. In this case, we're gonna draw her looking in this direction. So we'll put start from here, and then we'll bring the the eye around like this. This line goes with this line, so you can easily just follow this line. And same goes with the pupil. Bring it around and bring it just like that. And if you want, you can add the highlight right here and shade this part. Next, let's add the other pupil. With this one, you want to start here and then you bring this down and go with this line. Just like that. And then you put the pupil here. Oh, not the pupil, the highlight, sorry. And the pupil goes here. <laughs> Just note that if you feel like I'm going too fast, feel free to pause the video at any moment throughout the video and try to replicate the lines we have. But anyways, now let's move on to the muzzle. What you want to do is start from here, from this line and the eye right here, and then bring this out just like that. Just a little bit outside the circle. Just like that. Not too much. And then what you want to do is you start from here and you bring it along with this line like this. You're going to want to connect it with the circle. Just like that. And add the nostril here. In this case, we're just going to draw her, uh, draw her with a just a smile. So you want to start from here and then bring this up just like that. And it stops where this line is. Next, we'll add her eyelashes. Spitfire has three on the top and three on the bottom. So we bring this one up. Just like that. Just like that. And we'll add the ones on the bottom here. Remember, try your best to to put these lines on the right spot. Now let's add the other ones. Up. Just like that. And now the bottom ones. Just like that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now let's add her ear. Uh, in this case, since we're going to be drawing her wearing the, the Wonder Boats uniform, and she's going to be wearing these gog the goggles on her head, so her ears kind of not going to be up 
how I usually draw the ponies with the ears out. She's kind of going to have it going off in this direction a little. So we start from this line and we bring it up like this. Just like that. And we bring this part back this way. Like that. And you can add the little line of her ear here. Just like that. Now let's add the goggles. The goggles. Um, you can start from this line here and make like an oval shape right here and just put it in like this remember just just try your best it doesn't necessarily have to be perfect it's all about trying your best the more and more you practice at this the better you'll get and what you want to do is put a line going down here like this and then make a <laughs> Make another line exactly like this one. And connect it up like this, just like that. And to add this little strand or little belt that connects to the goggles, you just bring it around like this. And then you put the other line right about here. Just like that. Next, what you want to do is notice this, this line right here, this part right here, and this part can make a line going like this and you bring this part in like that just like that wolf you'll see why we're we're gonna leave this part like this now let's add the neck okay to do the neck what you want to do is start from the dot and bring a line straight down like this and same thing with this side right here just bring a line straight down and so, and if, next let's add her body. So add the body if you want. You can bring a line out straight like this from under her, her chin right here. Bring a straight line out like this. And then from here you want to make her body like a bean shape. Remember, try your best. It doesn't necessarily have to be perfect at first. The more and more you practice the better you'll get at it and another thing is remember not to have the neck straight up and down kind of give it a little curve just like that now let's add since we have the back of her of her neck right here we can start adding her mane spitfire's mane can be pretty difficult at first but the more and more you practice drawing her mane, you know, you'll, you'll get better at it. To start drawing her mane, we want to start all the way at the bottom from here. And you want to bring this part up. And go all the way up here. Just like this, right underneath this, this part of the ear. And then you bring this part back like this. Kind of going towards the bottom of the circle right here. And you stop there. Next thing what you want to do is bring this part start from here and bring this part up like this and it goes a little bit higher from this line that we put for the ear and then you bring it back and then from here you want to bring this part up more and stop like right a little bit over the ear like right here and then bring this back like this just like that, that's the back part of the mane. Now we're gonna add the front part. To add the front part, what you wanna do is start from here and kinda round it downwards and then bring it back up. To know how far to go this direction, you can pay attention to the side of the head right here. And you can bring a line out just like that. And it goes up. And stops right about here and then you bring it back this way just like that and you can add the little part of the belt of her goggles right there just like that and next what you want to do is start from right here and bring it back more this way and right when you're about to reach 
in front of this goggle you want to stop and then bring it back down and stop right about here right as high as where this one is just like that and then what you want to do is bring this this spike bring it out like this as far as where this the other side of the end of this goggle is just like that and then you bring it back this way and then you still have to add one more so you bring this line out and you kind of dip it down a little but as you're going towards this one you bring it back up just like this and you connect it just like that and there you have Spitfire's Bane <laughs> remember just practice and practice you'll get it with enough practice Spitfire's main can be quite challenging at first, but the more and more you practice, the better you'll get at it. Now let's add her hoofs. Which, to start adding the hoofs, you start right about here, right? You can bring a line down right here to help you. Know where I'm putting it. It's just a little bit to the side right here. And what you want to do is bring a line going down like this. right about here and then you start from this line and then you bring it down like that just like that and then you connect these but as you connect them make sure that it's round the bottom of the hose are never straight they have to be round it's like that now let's add her, her other hoof you start right here and then you bring this down and you start stop right about here you can put a straight line but round it from the bottom just like that now let's add her, the hooks on the back hooks start adding her back hooks you start right about here notice the distance or how far I put it and you, you want to bring this down and as you go down this way, you curve it back this way and stop right about here. Same distance we put this line right here. And to add, you know, the other part of her heel, is you start from the back here, bring it down. And if you want to know how far where the heel is, you can bring a line like this, just right there. And then you bring this and you just follow this line. Just like that. And you connect them, but remember around it from the bottom. And then to add the back one, you just do the same thing like right here. You just bring, start from here and then you just bring it down like this. And you stop right about there. And, cut, and put a straight line and round it. Just like that. And then from here, from the bottom of the belly, you can just bring this line and bring it up. Just like that. Now let's add her wings. To add the wings, what you want to do is start like right about near the neck from here. And bring this line up as high as where the ear is. Just like that. And then... You want to, as you're going back up, you go in this direction and stop right about here. The top part of the wing here is almost as tall as the ear from right here. And then as you stop here, you want to bring a guideline going down like this. And stop right about there. Pegasite ponies have four feathers. So... Oh, four on the outside and what you want to do is bring a feather like this and then that second one you want to bring it just a little bit outside this guideline just like that and then you bring and where you stop here for this one the third one you want to bring it out and bring it just like this Darkening these lines really quick. And 
to add the fourth one, you just start from here and bring this like that. Stop right there. And now let's add the one the the last three feathers on the inside. You start right about here and then you bring this up and bring it back around like this. And then you start from here to add the second one and you bring it down this way. And then to add the last one, you just bring it around and bring it down like this. The other wing you won't see as much because it's going to be being covered mostly from her mane. So all you really could do is just bring a line up here like this. And you want to start adding it right about here and bring it in like this. And then you just do the same thing as you did over here. Just like that. But you're not going to see too much of it. So you can just leave it like that. And if you want, you can kind of shade it in. To show that it's behind her. Just like that. Now let's add her tail. Her tail. You can start right about right here where the wing is and bring a line out like this and as you're going along with this you want to start going back towards the heel here and stop right about there and bring a line just like that and then what you want to do is remember this line and then you bring it down like this and you bring it around like that and stop right about here now to add the other side notice where we put this line imagine a line right about here and imagine it going like this and you start right here and you put the other spike right there just like that and then you bring this this line you want to imagine a line going through here and then you bring this line here and you're going kind of with this side of her tail here and then right here is where you're going to add the other spike like this just like that and then you as you're bringing this line down again you go down here and this is where you add the the next spike right here and then you finally connect it at the bottom like that <clears throat> excuse me now let's add the the details of the costume or the Wonder Boats costume first you can add the little opening of her mask right here like this just like that and then next you want to add the little bolt that goes down her neck right here so you can start from right here and go down bring it back up a little go down again and then you bring it back up once more and you bring it down towards your hoof like that the next you want to do is add the the last part from here is bring the start from here where the, the where the hoof starts and bring a a boat out and bring it back in and just go go towards the bottom of her belly just like that next you want to do is add the bolts on her hooves if you want you can add guidelines just like this to help you know where the bolts should go and then what you want to do is just put lining bolts like this remember you can pause the video at any moment and try to replicate everything we've done so far spitfire can be quite challenging at first but the more you more and more you practice the better you'll get at it and remember when you're drawing it always you sketch have a loose hand don't start drawing dark right up 
all heavy. You know, like don't press too hard on the pencil when you first start drawing. Just keep your hand loose and, and sketchy. And let's add the last one. Just like that. And the last thing you want to do is put the little bolt here. So you just bring it in. And bring it down like this. Just like that. Also, if you want, you can add a little shadow underneath her neck here. And here. And here. Just like that. And me, since I always like adding shadows on the bottom, you don't necessarily have to, have to do this. I just throw it in for fun. I put a little shadow under here. Remember, you don't necess you don't have to do this. I just throw this in for fun. Just shade it in. And there you have it, everyone. Uh, drawing a Spitfire. Now I'm going to go over this with pen and ink and color it. And I'll be right back. tutorial video on how to draw spitfire hope you found this video helpful in any way um also let me know in the comments uh, what you thought of this if you want to see more or any other type of videos um also don't forget to drop a like if you did enjoy it also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already that'll let me know if you guys want to see more of these type of videos uh, but the but again hope you found this video helpful and I'll see you in my next video.